Oh, oh god, oh god, no, 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 oh god, oh god. Where are we? What is this place? Oh, hell. Hello and welcome back to season 30. Or welcome to, rather. This is not a back. This is a new start to season 30 of Monumental Victory. As you can tell by this lovely text up here, we are indeed playing The Painter. This has been a map that's on my list for a while. And I had said I was going to play it once it came out of uh, open beta. Um, I'm not sure when it did come out of open beta, but uh, I had quite a few suggestions on uh, the end of last season. Um, the end of a, um, Endless Deep. Um, however, I did also have a lot of other great suggestions. I had Runes of the Minecracker, I had Goliath, Untold Stories, Terror Restore... Depths of Urkala, Blight Castle, Black Desert, Deathly Trails, plenty of really good suggestions. Unfortunately, I only had to pick one of them. And this is the one I chose for this time around. We got here, I'll start off. Your thoughts. <clears throat> Whoa. This doesn't seem right at all. What is this place? There was a voice. He reached out to me, talked to me. He had asked me to make a painting, and I said yes. But this seems a little extreme. Lava pouring down from the walls and sailing with the endless chasm below. Is this really necessary? Last time I checked, paintings, painting isn't exactly an extreme sport. Well, there's a path. As dangerous as it looks, I should probably go on ahead. I may be able to find find out what all of this is if I what all of this is if I can reach the other side of the cavern. Oh boy. You're scaring me already. All right. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take this chest with me. I don't need the buck. I'm taking the chest with me. Um. So yeah, as I was mentioning, this is a uh, has been. Well, I failed. Uh, this has been. Uh, I've had this suggestion a few times for people suggesting to play the painter. Um, I decided to go with it. Um, however, my plans were are a little different than I was initially anticipating. Um, the initial plans. Or actually, to do a co-op for this uh, this uh, season. Season 30 was going to be a co-op. Um, note, this first area has no natural spawns. Enjoy it while you can. Uh, normal difficulty, okay. While well, you can, once you reach intersection 1, there's their, their fair game. The sketch. Thank you, sketch. Um, so, the initial plan was, in fact, to play a little bit of a co-op for this first... Uh, okay. Uh, a little bit of co-op for this first season or season 30, rather, of uh, Monumental Victory. Um, I tried my damnedest, and so did my partner, to uh, get stuff working. And we had so many issues. Uh, first, it was uh, connection issues, where it was uh, uh, he was unable to kind of stay connected to the game for an extended period of time, and he would just DC kind of thing. And that would kind of persist for a while. So that, I ended up, uh, we ended up trying a different map. Had a similar issue. We tried this map, and um, he immediately crashed upon entering the game, which I think has to do with. I guess we're gonna loop around. I think it has to do with. Um, uh, he hasn't had a. It's it's just Java related, I think. So he would crash immediately upon entering the game, and I went and we just kind of. I I, I kind of called it and said, "We'll we'll we'll do this again another time." So. This season, unfortunately, is not going to be multiplayer, but uh, maybe another season. Maybe another season soon. Uh, find a complete canvas. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> or blocks supposed to be part of the environment or crafted. Uh, looks like standard rules for the uh, for the for the map map creator sketch. For the longest time, I've been a fan of CTM apps, and I finally decided to make one myself. What you see here is my first serious attempt at creating a full-size CTM map, complete with five intersections, a uh, thought-out storyline, and a wide variety of areas. This map begins its production in April 2013 and has slowly grown into this end product. Uh, it was truly been an endeavor to make, and I hope you all enjoy playing it as much as I did creating it. Uh, good luck, have fun, and died lots. Oh, oh thanks, Sketch. <laughs> You're such a kind soul. Map maker notes. All right. Before you begin, there is a few things about this map you should take note of. Oh, there's a lot of pa 11 pages. Fun path. 
Uh, throughout the map, there are several places where parts of the areas can be made easier or skipped entirely with the use of a bridge, tunnel, or well-placed enderpearl. I'm not going to prohibit using these methods in the rules, but just so you, uh, just know that your experience as a player will be diminished if you use these whenever whenever possible. Try to use uh, to only resort to them if you're as your last resort if you're truly stuck. Area size. Don't let the beginning of the map deceive you. The first area, first few areas are very small, and eventually the size of the areas will grow. At the end of the map, they're huge. Okay. Storyline. The most part, the storyline of this map is important to the gameplay, especially in the final few areas. Most of the lore comes in the form of signs that appear uh, before each area, but there are some books in a few of the areas as well. They usually aren't any longer than three-ish pages. Usually. <laughs> For maximum enjoyment, it's highly recommended that you read all signs and lore books that come across. Okay, loot. The loot in this map follows a tier system with Terraria-style modified prefixes. Uh, the name of the, each piece of loot indicates what tier the item falls into. Yellow tier 1, bright green tier 2, aqua tier... Okay. Uh, there are also a few untiered items labeled with red uh, scattered around the map. Most of them only appear once. This system is applied to all custom enchanted weapons, armor, tools, and potions throughout the map. I remember um, Sketch talking a little bit about this, I think, in the, um, the community, uh, CTM community thread. Um, and he kind of went all out with, like, a true-ish type tiered system where like everything, I think like everything is named. <laughs> he went hardcore and I'm assuming by the amount of people suggesting I play this map, it ended up paying off. Uh, this system is applied to all custom enchanted weapons, armor tools, uh, the map. Uh, fun, above all else, this map is made for you to have fun. If an area is way too difficult for you and you want to tunnel or bridge, go ahead. You wouldn't want to play this if you weren't enjoying it, would you? Thank you for playing. Good luck. All right. Bye, Rick. Um, as you can see, I'm grabbing a bit of these, uh, not a bit, but all these uh, these chests as we're going. Uh, this is going to, my hell there. <laughs> this is going to save us on a bit of, uh... nope, nothing here. Uh, this is going to save us on a bit on um, wooden, uh, or this a... is way first. Uh, saves us a bit on uh, having to spend wood on chest. Uh, activate death counter. Death count won't appear until first death. Uh, okay. uh, saves us a little bit of wood on um, at least the initial start to this map. Um, I'm going to assume we're going to be sort of limited on supplies, at least early on. Um, so again, in, in general, when you're starting a map, you're ready to be on now. Good luck. Um, in general, when starting a map, oh boy, um, you want to keep in mind, uh, the supplies you're using. Oh, wow. Hello, zombies. <laughs> uh, you want to kind of keep in mind, uh, the supplies you have, um, and you want to try to conserve them as much as you can. Uh, using, I mean, two logs in order to make a chest is, is can be kind of expensive in a in a map, uh, especially. Um, no. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, especially when you don't have a whole lot of supplies. Um, okay. Grab those. I don't really need that. I'll grab the leather. I should probably put this armor on. Um, early on, most times, and depending on the, it really, really depends on the map. Um, some maps don't really provide you with a, a lot of resources early on, like wood, um, and stone and such. Is this actual stone? It is stone. Okay. We just need a, oh boy, it's just a draft. Um, just need some, some wood, which I have some wood. I could make a pick. Wood pick. Um, ow, hey! Well, actually, no, I can't make a wood pick because I am, um, I'm a little bit shy. Oh, I got enough to make a gravity table. Ah, come on. Damn it. Damn spider. Ruining my day. Um, so in general, I like to, uh, at least it, within the first part of the map until I get, uh, no, you don't push me off that damn thing again. Um, at least until I get stabilized in, uh, in my gear. Uh, I, in general, I learned this, um, I learned this from, a. Um, one of the, uh, the people I, uh, I chat with from time to time in regards to CTMs and, um, I haven't gotten a chance to, uh, watch his streams in a while, unfortunately, but, uh, I, uh, hope to try to get back into the flow of things with that. But, um, I learned this from Aurabolt. Uh, some of you may be familiar with, uh, him from the CTM community. Um, 
he uh, he kind of uh, showed me the way uh, in in respects to uh, kind of collecting the chest as you go, um, just because of the the fact that you're you're not gonna want to spend early amounts of uh, early amounts of wood, especially in um, maps that don't provide you with a lot of wood on chest. So I mean, most maps are gonna be providing you with a, a you know plenty of uh, plenty of chest and such, with uh, which uh, which will include a lot of your loot, or at least your starting loot. Um, so, I mean, there's not really any point to not uh, not take advantage of that and uh, use that when you can. Um, and just kind of... I'm spider. Nope. Oh, you can jump across. Um, use that when you can just to kind of make things easier. Save, save on some wood uh, that you might not have had to or that you might not have been able to before. Um, no, I, I hear you scattering. Let's run over here and turn these zombies off. Ah! 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 <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a creeper spawner. Let me light that up. Um, so, yeah. That's uh, that's kind of one thing I've learned. If you learn anything from uh, my playing, um, it should be the things I've learned. <laughs> Oh boy, this is going to be even more painful. Oh. Whew. Okay. Whew. That was surprisingly a bit more painful than I expected. Okay. All right. We lived. We lived. We'll be okay. We'll have to see another day. I can rhyme. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Alright, anything back under here? So say this seems like the sneaky kind of thing that someone would do. Oh, there's a chest right there. Sneaky kind of thing that someone would do. Weather. Potion of extermination. Ah. Crippling. I don't know if I'm happy with like any of these potions. I've been I'm 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 gonna grab the chest though. I've, to be honest, I've never been a f huge fan of custom potions, at least like custom like um, offensive potions. Um, I always find they're kind of subpar. Um, I bet you're wondering why you're here. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We are <clears throat> we are what you mortals call the gods. A few minutes ago, we asked you to paint a mor moral for us, and you have humbly agreed. We sincerely hope you do not. You didn't expect a normal painting. If we wanted a normal painting, we could do it ourselves. Instead, you must travel through other lands and collect sixteen colors of paint, as yes, as well as make the four metallic colors yourself. We will not give you a bit of help. In fact, we already have with we already have the loot chest. But for the most part, you'll be our, on your own. If you do manage to make this pot work a lot, you will be thought of as a hero, maybe even recruited as a god. But it would be dangerous. Try to cope with the challenges. We wish you the best of luck, the gods. Ooh, ooh ominous, threatening. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, as I was saying, I don't really, I've, I've, I've never really felt like a. Oh, I see you, Cooper. Yeah, you. I'm looking at you. Don't think I, you don't. I don't hear you. You don't hear me. I've always been, um, Garden of Eden. I'm seeing some, uh, little blocks around that could be useful. Um, I've never been a really big fan of offensive... Oh, well, well, hello. Um, I'm glad I didn't play this multiplayer then, because uh, I'm pretty sure, in, if I remember correctly, and multiplayer, these, um, the ender chests and stuff don't actually work. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh, blop, blop. Um, I need a little bit of room here. Nope, nope. Okay. I would like to set up a few chests. A few chests. Um, and eventually we'll put down a bed here probably, but a few chests for now. Um, I need, first of all, a crafting table. 
Bam! Gravity table. Okay. Um, and this chest for now, I think it's just going to just toss junk in. Well, sort it out eventually, I think. But for now, I'm not too worried about sorting it out. Uh, and then we'll get a bed down here when, uh, when we get the opportunity to. Uh, let's go ahead. Grab up this lovely, lovely, lovely wool. Oh, look at that. Achievements. Those achievements. And I do see that chest down there right now. Um, we'll grab that after. Um, let's start off by making sure we grab all the supplies in this intersection. Oh, I was kind of worried. It was uh, it was taking so long to mine that I was kind of worried that we weren't going to get it. I don't know why I would have thought that. But it felt like one of those things where we would have not gotten it for some reason. Usually when uh, you're mining blocks and it takes like, oh god, no. It takes like a, an exceptional amount of time. I usually find that like, that just means like, well, we're not getting this block. Okay, back up. We got a couple logs, which is good. Um, I should be able to, actually, um, we have a crafting table. Um, I should be able to use that those logs to make some sticks. Um, when we can make some... Uh, we can make some stone tools. Oh, come on! Why is everything flying away from me? Uh, I think we're actually going to be able to make some stone tools, which could be good for us. Um, though it's almost looks, it almost feels like uh, he's uh, the sketch is giving us those in order to <laughs> in order to make torches. So I'm a little bit unsure of what I want to do with that. Um, however, I'm breaking two. Some stone. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave. Uh, God damn it. I want to make torches. I also want to make... Okay, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to put this here for now. I'm going to investigate over here because this seems like a nature-y area. And I think this is the white... Yeah, this is the white area. Um, I think this looks... Oh, yeah, I see trees. Okay, I'm not worried about using that wood then i'm gonna use that wood i'm gonna get some stone we're gonna make some stone tools um and then i will bring this coal with me in order to make some uh, torches when we get to the area um probably a yeah i'm thinking of stone um oh no we got a, don't worry uh, i'm thinking maybe a couple stone picks um um probably bring two stone picks with us two stone swords and that should carry us over for a bit uh so we're gonna need six seven eight nine ten uh ten for now we'll definitely grab some more later it's probably we end up being off screen that we'll grab some um but just for now we're gonna grab some just because uh we're here we're already here i'm not gonna cut us out <laughs> uh one two one two one two There we go. Uh, and let's just throw these in here for now. Uh, really, the only thing they're giving us is kind of just unbreaking, which is probably going to be nearly equivalent to uh, by 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 the time it by the time we break it, it's going to be nearly equivalent probably to uh, these tools, anyways. And it's not worth uh, losing the mining speed we're going to lose for using those wooden tools. And I'm going to actually, no, we're in, um, as a note, <laughs> we're in uh, Minecraft 1.7.5. This is when the, this map, oh, thank goodness. Uh, this is when this map came out, is uh, Minecraft 1.7.5. Uh, so we don't have to, luckily, we don't have to worry about uh, gathering this lapis for enchants, uh, enchantments, um, just because that wasn't a thing back then. Uh, so which actually is really nice. Um, can I put this on the side of this? No. I am not going to have that kind of luck. All right. Trey, you're going here. <laughs> you will be my tree, my savior, my saint. All right. Let's head our way to here. Actually, take a look at these signs real quick. Um, We, <clears throat> we know what you're thinking. Why is it so important that you get the painting from these specific locations. Do not worry. All your questions will be answered in time. Just go with it for now. Always. Anyways, this is the Garden of Eden. It appears to be inviting you, inviting 
but you may want to be careful around here. Overall, though, it shouldn't be too bad. Just find the white paint and you'll be good to go. Well, it's as if that's, that's inviting. <laughs> a couple, couple zombies. We got some animals here. I, uh, I like the looks of that. I wonder if we can uh, kind of... Uh, ah! We can um, kind of corral some of these animals into like a nice pen. Um, I mean, we got, luckily for us, we have some grass here. Uh, so we could theoretically... Where are you guys coming from? Uh, we could theoretically um, get some seeds in order to make some wheat, in order to do breeding. You guys are coming from somewhere. Oof. I'm hearing silverfish too. I don't like where these mobs are coming from. Damn it! Get out of the grass! Let me get some lighting down around here. You guys are coming from ow somewhere. Ah, right there. Not a chance, silverfish. Um, oh, you're probably coming from a spawner too. Okay, looks like there's a pathway over there. Is there any more around here? Uh, I see a little bit of coal off in the distance over there. We just have a big tree. I'm pretty sure there's like a bunch of ton of spawners over here. Ow! Damn spawners! Bunch of spawners over here. I like this one. Um, okay, saplings. I guess I need to worry too much. Ah! Come on! I don't know where you're spawning from. When I find you, I'll kill you. Are you under here? No. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the brave guess. <laughs> Much like any uh, most uh, normal CTMers, it doesn't look like there's anything up there. I'm gonna take the the plunge. The waterfall plunge. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't look like anything, anything up here. I tried. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so it's definitely going to be an interest to try, I think, I think, um, where the hell are you all coming from? There's got to be a spawner or something in this area, somewhere. Somewhere over the zombie rainbow, filled with mess. Oh, that's a trap. Aha! Are you going to be that type of person, uh, <laughs> Sketch? Are you the trappy type of person? I, um, I'm, I know there's a few, few of those types of people in the com CTM community. Should I, can I, should I perceive you to be one of those types? I should probably err on the side of cautious and uh, assume that the sketch is uh, the trappy type. Uh, because as soon as I don't assume that, I'm going to die. Viciously. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think at some point we're going to... I think we should try to lure some of these animals out. I mean, we could, there's at least enough chickens that we could set up a little farm. I mean, there's only... Oh, there's, okay, never mind. There's plenty of chickens to set up a farm. Uh, I only see one cow for now. I don't know whether there will be more. Uh, but it might be in our best interest at some point to set up a little farm in regards to those. Um, kind of go from there. Uh, <clears throat> you see, this is what we mean when we say you should be careful. Not every area is as easy as it may appear. <laughs> I heard something. <laughs> but look over there. You see that box? I think the white paint is in there. Just break it in there and get it and... Then we can figure out this place. Uh, forget this place and move on. He told me this. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. I sh shouldn't assume it's as easy as it looks. Kind of also kind of low on building blocks. I don't have enough to mine over there. Let's grab a little bit of this terrible, te terrible netherrack. <laughs> uh, this is not a. <laughs> This is not a building block one should use when doing anything. Especially when it relates to potential zombies or gas or not zombies. Creepers. Zombies. 
Not even zombies. Just creepers are gassed. I see skeletons over there. Uh, I'm gonna get shot off in the lava. I'm gonna be already upset. Rage. Rage. Uh, maybe we'll run into a blaze. Oh. Oh, he did not have. Um, I thought he had a bow on him. Um, I see that spawner behind me, which I'm just. We need to try to get rid of that. Do I want to keep you? You've got an enchanted something. I'm kind of. Oh, that's a skeleton. That's something I don't want. Oh, it's an armored skeleton, too. Ah! No! No! Come on! Ow! Oh, you hurt. Whew. I'm actually interested. Actually, interested. Ah! I think I can get some bla um, magma cream out of these. Um, that said, I don't know what the um, sketches policy on um, potion supplies is going to be. On uh, whether he's going to give us nether warts and such like that. Um, so I don't know if I should try to break this or not. There's a lot of questions I have. I actually want to know if I can get that bone. I think I got it. No, I just got a bone. Sandage. Well. Oh, hello. We got ourselves a lovely amount of stuffs. Perfect. Oh, hello. No, no, no. Um, I'm definitely going to want to grab that tree. Um, that's just a, you know, a bunch of extra wood that could be useful. No, no. Do you, any of you drop magma, cre magma cream? <laughs> Pretty please. I, uh, I will assume that the sketch actually gives us uh, potion supplies, but I guess it's probably assumption a not a not as a not safe assumption um not every map maker actually gives you potion supplies they kind of uh i know um like uh Halicio doesn't really you have the option of getting potion supplies else you have the option of getting some super awesome buff and so you gotta kind of decide which one you want bam the white paint we got this map. <laughs> map ain't got no, ain't got shit on us. We'll do this. Oh, damn. This is a skeleton spawner. It's a magma cream. Magma cube. Magma cream. It might as well be magma cream. <laughs> uh, flak vest. Ooh, and fire. Interesting. I wonder if we're gonna get more fire throughout the map. Because we can use that fire to make chain bass, uh, assuming there's no, I guess, potential trades for fire. Um, and actually, funny thing, I think 1.7 and um, the other versions are the last versions where you can actually have fire. I don't remember if you could ha I don't think you could have fire in 1.8. Ah, nostalgia. The past. History. So good. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, so I definitely think at some point, probably off screen between, uh, this episode and next episode, I might, um, lure some chickens up to our place. Uh, I wonder if there's anything up top there. Um, I might have to take a look. Um, I might try to lure some chickens up to our place and then make a good old, uh, chicken pit. Oh, that blocks. Uh, make a good old chicken pit and, uh, breed, try to breed the hell out of them. Um, I mean, chicken is going to be a really good source of food um, for us, uh, at least in comparison to what we're eating now. Um, actually, you know what? I don't know what the uh, the value-wise difference between chicken and bread is, but regardless, it's going to be a really good source of food, um, and I think we'll want to uh, work in investing into that. Um, before I forget, I should definitely... Uh, let me drop off some stuff, actually place some more chests. Um, I should probably um, go down and grab the stuff down there. There was a, uh, what's this, flak vest? Unbreaking one, proj for for dealing with those OP skeletons. Ooh, and a little bit of knockback protection. Well, that's definitely uh, better than the no nothing I had. 
Um, our helmet's going to break here soon. Let me switch that out. Uh, pants are okay for now. Um, hoping a little bit that we find a um, some type of anvil here soon. I doubt that's going to be the case, but I can. I a man can hope. A man can hope. Okay, let's uh, let's go get go down and grab this chest here. Figure out what it is. Dun 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 dun. Da, da, da. I see that TNT under it. Um. <laughs> Can't fool me. There we go. <laughs> One point rock. And just a bunch of TNT that we could potentially use for something later on. <laughs> I don't know what. Well, maybe we could use it for something. Uh, TNT. Ooh, nine pieces. Puffer fish that we're not going to use. Um, I mean, we could make some potions, I guess, technically with those. I'm trying to remember what puffer fish potions for. Puffer fish. Oh, it's a trap chest. Uh, puffer fish make. Was it water breathing potions? I think. I don't remember. I don't remember. First brush stroke. I like it. Um. All right. That said, I think I'm gonna take. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this in here. Um. I'm gonna take a quick uh quick cut. See what our recording time looks like, and uh, we'll decide what to do from there. So I'll be right back. All right. So we've been going for around 32 minutes or so. I think that's a good length for a first episode. Um, so that will be a good time to call it for today. Thanks for joining, as always, everyone. Hope you enjoy. Hope you are enjoying the series so far. After one episode, and don't forget to leave a like when you can. It always it always helps. Um, so I'm gonna gather this and call it there for today. Thanks for joining, and I'll I'll see you I'll see you all next episode. Bye!